Hello there and welcome to the new video where I will show you how you can download and install the pillow library into the Jupyter Notebook. So pillow library is used for image processing task and if you are planning to use that or if you are planning to do image processing then this is the library you need to download and use it. So, and before I show you the installation I, uh, there is quick information that uh, related to the installation or uninstallation or upgradation of libraries there is a reference available within the description which you can look in case in future let's say you want to uninstall any package or you want to upgrade let's say pillow itself then you know those commands so all of that information is present in the description all right so let's go ahead and uh, install the library so we'll start with the exclamation sign and say p i p pip and we will go into then say install and then the library which is pillow and we will going to press the shift enter as we will going to press the shift enter you will see that the processing is happening where it has collected the pillow library using cached and all and you need to just make sure that your internet is working fine uh, before running this command because what happens is when you run this command basically uh, the command searches this library on the internet and from there it downloads or it collects and then install it so once it is installed let me show you how you need to use it so the way you need to use it you need to start with the from and instead of entire pillow the way it needs to be a, or the modules that you need to import from the pillow library is from PIL and then you say import let's say image for example and you start using it so image module is imported similarly if you want to see other modules then you will say from PIL import and now press tab once you press the tab it will show you what are the uh, different modules that is available for you to download for example we downloaded this one right if there are any other module which you want to download the, this is the way by which you can download it so that's what i mainly wanted to show you how you can install this library and then you can start using it by importing its relevant modules so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic